Hello, this is Pastor Mike Jones with Life Together in Christ Daily Devotion. And today we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And this is a very famous scripture that has brought a lot of hope to people in difficult times in their lives. And I hope today uh, that you will find promise and hope in this scripture. Let's pray together as we prepare to look at the scripture. Lord, we pray that today as we open your word, that you would speak words of hope and promise into each of our lives today, no matter the circumstances we're facing. And Lord, we thank you that you are greater than all the circumstances in our lives. In your name we pray, amen. So let's turn together to Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose. And so, as I mentioned before, this is a very uh, famous scripture. It brings a lot of hope to people. So let's take a look at it and see what it says. So it says, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. So first of all, uh, this scripture uh, Through the scripture, God is telling us that in all things, whether good or bad things that happen to us, God can use those things and bring good out of it. Now, it does not say that God causes all things to happen to us, good or bad. But it does say that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. So, Whatever happens to us, God can use it for good as he works in our lives and bring something good out of that. And so this promise is for every person who loves God. Um, And so I think this is a wonderful thing. The last four days, I've been at a special general conference for our United Methodist Church. And at that general conference... um, I was really disappointed in how the church interacted, how people interacted with one another and how they discussed uh, things or didn't discuss things. And uh, regardless of what the vote was that came out of that, my heart was broken uh, for uh, the brokenness in our church and people's relationships and our inability to talk and communicate effectively with one another and to really understand and desire to understand one another. And so it was very sad to me. And I left there disappointed in our church, uh, in our denomination. And uh, this scripture kept coming back to me, that even in this situation that God did not cause to happen, God can bring good out of this for those who love him. Now, this is a promise for believers, for people that love God. It's not a promise for every person, but it is a promise for believers that if we love God, no matter what happens, he can bring good out of it. And so my hope is uh, for our denomination that God can bring good out of our interactions together in St. Louis that weren't so good. And so whatever you're facing today in your life, Hold on to the scripture, love God and trust in God. Believe on his word that he can bring good out of whatever you're facing, whatever has happened in your life. And remember, those things that have happened in your life, whether good or bad, God has not caused them to happen. And so God does this for all those who love him, who've been called according to his purpose, and his purpose is for us to love God with all our heart, mind, and soul, to love our neighbors as our